feel me? I got Sprite in my cup, you feel me, man? You know how Stair got range be bombing, you feel me? Look, we bombing with another video, right? Look, this is the uh, best dual archetype build you could possibly make for 2K18. So this is going to be based off of, you know, focusing on when 2K18 fully dropped. This is going to be the best dual archetype build to upgrade to overall 99 once you get in the playground and whatnot. Based off of how it's looking in the prelude, we all know that, you know, there will come the time where there will be patches and whatnot in NBA 2K18. So we definitely got to watch out for that, you know, being, you know, players being nerfed and whatnot, you know, some players being buffed, you know, you know, the process of 2K. They always got to, you know, upgrade people's, you know, stats and whatever, upgrade how people play. But look, I'm going to just tell you straight up, based off the prelude, but also focusing on the future of the game. The best dual archetypes to build. The the best yeah, the best dual archetypes to build. That's what I'm trying to say. The best one to build will possibly be based off of how I play, man. Based off of the two my careers I just finished. I just finished uh, the one for my shot creator and playmaker and the other one for my rebounding driving finisher, whatever his name is, slash and rebounder. Yeah. I finished them right. The best one to make out of them two, I had the most fun with the slashing rebound, the 7 3 center that you guys seen in my previous video. Look, this guy goes ham, this guy goes insane, he goes crazy. It is gonna be kind of fun, it's, it might get boring just a little bit because I got a little bored towards the end just being able to call for the ball and being able to just do a standing dunk. But I don't know, I just gotta have, I might just have to get the dunk package in and see what the dunk packages is. But I dunk packages look like for my dude because I don't know, I was just getting bored calling for the ball and whatnot but that's just my career self i don't know how it's gonna be for the playground but i'm pretty sure for the playground this guy will be an op unstoppable player the only way he could be stopped i would assume you know being able to go up against a pure defender that's the center as well so look pure defenders they might just all they know is you know the square button you feel me they all just know that oh we got the square button we got the ability to steal the ball on defense let me just spam square that's the only thing you got to watch out for if you plan on making the 7-3 center that i made the slash and rebound so you got to watch out for you know if you try to post somebody up if you try to posterize somebody just think about if you facing up a pure defender which there may be a lot of people making pure defenders because they want the ability to steal the ball or anybody with the defending skill i think a lot of people are putting that defending skill as their second day or primary either way you're gonna run into a defender once in a you know once in a while so just remember that if you run into them they might just have to spam square on you if you are a very big threat to them like this 7-3 center that i made he's a very big threat all he has to do is just post somebody up back him down in the paint and do a standing dunk maybe even posterize him that's what i was doing in the prelude he's gonna become a very big threat to a lot of people anybody that may be a mismatch anybody that may be shorter anybody that may not be able to face a driving you know rebounder anybody that can't get a rebound over a 7-3 center i am going to be a threat you feel me this build right here this dual archetype slashing rebounder is a threat if you make him 7-3 the correct height uh, I don't think weight matters too much, but if you make his weight the highest, he will get his strength up. So backing people down will definitely affect how your player plays on the court. So making your weight higher will get you more strength. Just remember that. So I would suggest going a little bit high on the weight. He might move a little slow up and down the court, which is why I made mine lower. But I don't know if I made too much of a uh, mistake with that one because I saw my guy... I don't know, my 7-3 center, he was doing very well either way. He was backing people down still, but we just got to see for the playground, you feel me? But I really do predict that this 7-3 center slash and rebounder will be a very great, you know, build to have, you know, upgraded in the park, you feel me? Upgraded in the playground once the 2K18 full game releases. You just got to think about all the things he could do. Just a standing dunk glitch like I showed you guys. All you got to do is back somebody down the paint. Immediate standing dunk once you hold down square. It's immediately a standing dunk. It might be a standing layup sometimes, but he will most likely make it. And just think about when he has all his badges. Just think about when he has all his attributes up and capped and whatnot and maxed out. Just imagine a dude at 85 overall, a 7-3 center to be exact, at 85 overall. Just think about it. You feel me? I mean, 85 overall don't sound too good, but just imagine, you know, that that's the, that's the max you can have your player at once you buy VC. So just imagine a 7-3 center maxed out. In his, in his uh, you know, driving abilities, you feel me? Just maxing out everything, his dunk, layup, everything. Just imagine, he will be a big threat in the paint. So this will be the best dual archetype build to get to 99 overall because he could. Pro I promise you, he could do anything inside the paint. You don't want to put him out on a three point. You know, uh, you don't, you don't want to do that. You don't. You just don't want to do that. He's not gonna be able to shoot threes like that. But 
just imagine, man. Just imagine. This guy's going to be a big threat to a lot of people, but pure defenders may be the only competition. Anybody that may be a pure defender that knows how to use them, but there may be those pure defenders that just overpower, you know, overuse their ability, you know, like, you know, spamming square and whatnot, spamming the steal button. That's what they might do to you. So just think about it, man. Just think about, you know, take into consideration that this, uh, <clears throat> this overall, excuse me, this overall is going to be crazy, man. It is definitely going to be crazy. So look, this 7-3 center, y'all should definitely take into consideration and notice, man. Take a look at it. Write down notes on this nigga. Like, hey, this 7-3 center is amazing, you feel me? So it's a very unstoppable build. I definitely want to say that it's probably going to be one of the best and underrated builds. You know, not a lot of people are going to be making this. Everybody want to make a shooting guard. Everybody want to be point guard on the court. Nobody want to make a center, though. Everybody might want, want to make a center so they could be called a snag god. That's my, that's the only title they want. But they not thinking about all the abilities and capa, you know, the capabilities that a rebounding, driving finisher can have. A slashing rebounder can have. They just want to be a rebounder so they can snag boards and whatnot. Be a horsey. Whatever, whatever that shit mean. Like, that's what, like, that's what they want to be. But, hey, think about mixing that shit up with a dual, you know, making a dual archetype out of it. You don't have to be a pure rebounder to be that good like that just to get rebounds and whatnot. Put your mix your stuff with driving and finishing. Hey, this is the best dual archetype build to you know get yourself up to 99 overall because he will definitely be unstoppable at one point in the playground. You feel me? So, look, that's all I wanted to explain, man. This build is gonna be crazy. I swear, I'm putting this build out there as well. This is gonna be my build along with the shot creator playmaker. I'm gonna also try to speak a little bit more on that and tell y'all how it is with me and uh, how I experienced with it. But hey. That's all I want to say, my nigga. So, look, stay got range, range, gang, 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 cock it I'm out of here. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Because, hey, this is, I'm going to give y'all best builds, man. The best builds to use. I'm going to be experimenting more in the lab with builds I could be using. And builds I could, I haven't even found out yet or discovered. Maybe builds I could piece together, you know, piece by piece and see, like, hey, this shit could work. That's all you really got to do to find out the best builds, man. And you can make it work on the court and whatnot. So, look. I'm heading on out of here, man. I talked my ass off enough. Uh, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to me if you haven't already. Like I said, uh, drop a like on this video and hit that bell so you get notifications on when I upload a video. So, hey, Range Gang, you know I'll be bumming. I'm finna head on out of here, man. I'm out.